Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. So um, we're going to start off with this tip that I found on another YouTuber's site, Recovering Addict, who covers uh, the multiverse, infinity-verse world that recently kind of blew up um, and is getting a lot of attention and um, a lot of activity. Uh, we're not here to talk about that today, but I'll put a link to his video and his channel down in the uh, description. But I picked up a tip from him that I thought was just, it kind of just blew my mind with how simple it was. And, uh, you know, kind of kick myself for not having figured this out a while ago. And I wanted to share it with you because, like me, you know, it might be a little slow on the uptake. And uh, these little tips are like really invaluable for getting the most out of optimizing your experience here on the Quest. And so if we start here in our app window, and it's all about this Oculus app window, right? And let's say we're in a session and we might be in a productivity app. I'm gonna start up uh, V Spatial, where I uh, do a lot of my work day in, day out. And let me grab the carousel. Let's go ahead and we'll connect to this PC. Get that out of the way. All right, great. And this isn't about the spatial, but let's say we're here working and I've got my monitors up here and what I've got going on in the background is, okay, Windows wants to do an update. Okay, great. So I wanna let that cook for a while and I'm gonna take a break from kind of doing whatever I was doing here on my desktop. I'm going to hit my Oculus menu button, right? And pull up this menu, which I usually just kind of use to, to quit an app. And this time I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click the little apps icon and bring all my apps up. And so I'm going to go do a little meditation. Well, my PC is updating in the background there in vSpatial. Now it does close vSpatial out, but I'm able to get, jump right out of vSpatial or any other app into Zen VR or any other app right from pulling up that Oculus menu. So here I am now in uh, Zen VR, and um, I might just go, let's go up the hill here, and I'm gonna go to my little meditation spot. Um, it's kind of hidden up here, great, yep. And I can sit here and chill out for a little bit, kind of clear the mind. I know my PC's updating in the background, you know, just take in kind of the sounds, the sights. And... <sighs> okay, so after I've chilled out a bit, I'm going to hit my Oculus menu again, right? And again, you know, it kind of points you to quitting the app, going back to the home. But we're going to click the apps icon, bring this back up, and I'm going to jump right out of Zen VR and back in to launching V Spatial. And now, so I can kind of seamlessly now move between these apps without having to go back to the home and uh, kind of having that intermediate step that's not necessary anymore. And here I am right back at it. I can pull my monitors down and get back to work. And so that's it, that's the quick tip. So when you're in any app, you hit that Oculus menu button, bring up this screen, go down, tap apps, jump right into the app that you're, you're looking for. Um, and hopefully this little short tip um, will just optimize the time and your sense of, of enjoyment and control being able to move from one app to the other without having to necessarily jump back into uh, the Oculus Home. Hope this is helpful. Thanks a bunch for stopping by and we'll see you in the metaverse. Bye now.